One of the many benefits of attending baseball games at Dietrich Park is you never know who you're likely to meet. You shouldn't live in the past. It's dangerous. But to visit it is a, just a, a wonderful experience. Athletes are bigger, they're stronger, and faster than ever before, but they're not tougher. I mean, you can't get guys to play two weeks in a row now and they want a day off. Right. And that's the only difference, they're not tough. Could you imagine that there's a metal bat in the hands of Frank Thomas or Frank Howard? They can. If you play good things, it'd be dangerous. It would be dangerous. What, what How do you about, like a guy like the, Ripken? Oh, he's the, he's, the, he's, the, he's the best. He's the greatest. He's why the big league ball players all the He's just outstanding. You look a little bit. Well, you know, uh, I wish I, I, I played a little bit like him, but uh, I always, always enjoyed playing against the guys like that. You know, it's it's nice to play against the best baseball players in the world and do okay against them. Well, I'm not that bad. If I can do okay against these guys, I'm not that bad. Every umpire has his own strike zone. I mean, this guy tonight, I guarantee you, his strike zone is not going to be like the one last night. Every big league umpire has right. a little bit different strike zone. Some of them call ball outside, some call it in, some call it high, some Nobody call calls it letter high. But no, they, 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 they and they never did when I played. They never no. called that ball. Uh, anything above the belt is usually a ball. The belt. Even when you play. Yes, but even even that should be a strike. It's supposed to be armpits. But anything anything above the belt's a ball. This guy used to he'd see me on the on deck circle, he would laugh. He'd just go, uh-huh. It was Louis Tion. Louis Tion, oh. oh. Now here's a guy that had to be 50 years old pitching in big leagues. He said he was 42, but that guy had to be 50. But I saw him beat Cincinnati twice in the World Series when Cincinnati was the big red machine and when he was pitching for Boston. And the third game he was winning going into the sixth inning. This guy was a great pitcher, but he used to turn his back all the way around. Yes. And you saw his, and he threw the ball from up here, sidearm. <laughs> And uh, he, used to, he threw the ball 93, 94 an hour, and he had a great change up, good curve ball. And I finally hit a home run off of him. And then after that, it took me seven years, I finally had to hit a home run off of him. <laughs> then after that, I started hitting pretty good. But Louis Tiant was just a great, great pitcher, and he had my number. How do you do that as a coach? The How best of all time, the best of all time is Joe Nossick. Joe Nossick is now the dugout coach for the uh, White Sox. Well, Joe Nossick used to be my coach in Cleveland. Joe Nosick was so good that Billy Martin used to call Joe Nosick up and ask him what a team's signs were when we would leave town and the Yankees were coming in behind. <laughs> but Joe Nosick, Joe Nosick did it this way. He was a math major, and he did it mathematically. He would break down signs. He would watch a, he'd watch a coach give a sign, and if nothing happened, then he would eliminate that. He this guy had a fantastic move. And then he would just do it by elimination process of elimination. Finally, when the, the coach would give a sign and something would happen, he, he would know exactly what that sign was. And he would, all he does is sit on the bench and watch the coach the entire game. I can't do that. I no, I gotta watch the game. <laughs> I gotta watch the ball game. Start with the left hand, nothing's on. No sign, nothing's on. Anytime I start with the right hand, there, there might be something on the right hand, okay? Here's a bunt, one clap. Okay, I start with my left hand, nothing's on. Now I'm gonna start with my right hand. Here's the hit and run. Two claps. Here's the steal. Right hand, start with my right hand. Three claps, that was a steal. We had those guys <laughs> all year long, not one time did they pick him up. <laughs>